And now we begin to build a proper truss. Works begins by preparing the corner rafters. They consist of timbers section 36 by 18 cm, more than 9 meters long, so really powerful, very heavy beams. Using the corner rafters we will build the mine truss that supports the entire roof structure. It is made of 4 rafters, a length of about 10 meters, with 2 collar beams which combine with each other on the cross and are assembled precisely in these 4 rafters. At the top of the collar beams will base 4 huge purlins and the whole construction going to suspend it from a so-called hanger. This is a design that doesn't have any post, so you could say that the roof maintains its structure itself and is based only on the wall plates. It is one of the most complex roof structures in terms of single-family housing. One part of the roof will be extended beyond the square shape of the major construction. We will also build a three dormers. Here we can observe the socket on the purlins which for a moment will be cut, then you will have a better view what is this feature about. Of course each of the elements of the wooden frame is exactly described and drawn in a construction project, but when it comes to scribing and joinery work it requires a sort of knowledge and imagination. Corner rafters will be included at an angle of 27 degrees compared to the wall plate level. The value of the angle you will read of course from the project. We can see how rafters would be applied to the wall plates, so you could see just that it will be an angle of 90 degrees. At the bottom in a circle we can see the point in which the wall plate will be resist, actually a corner of this. The socket will be cut with two angles. That is one of them, 27 degrees, the second is 63 degrees. In a moment we will cut the lock so it explains a little bit what the matter. So in the first place, as you can see, we cut an angle of 27 degrees. Here on the side of the rafter you can see line tries precisely at such an angle. Checking the depth. Here we cut the second corner, its angle is 63 degrees. In this way the rafters will set on the walls. And here we can see the end result. We have here an angle of 90 degrees and there is a place in which be a corner of the wall plate. Rafter will lie on this part of the wall plate that we can see now on the left side of the movie. Here we can see the top of the rafter. It will be coupled with an element which is called the hanger. Into the hanger will flush the lock, which is now going to be cut. Angle traced here, it is 63 degrees. From the project we know that value of the angle of the corner rafters relative to the wall plate and purlins is 27 degrees and the second angle is formed by the difference between 90 degrees and those 27 which we read from the project. This way we discover that the second angle we will cut here ought to be 63 degrees.
The side parts will be cut off and discarded, and the middle part will constitute a joinery lock. And this is the second row after the same action. The thickness of the rafters is divided into three parts. The middle one will stay serving as a plug, and two side ones will be rejected. Conversely we do in a holder cutting the middle part. This gives us a socket in which we will admit the plugs. Process of joining the elements you will see later in the course. Let's proceed to cut. That is, as I said earlier, the extreme parts of the rafter will be rejected, and this way will be plugged down. All elements should be cleaned with a chisel and later sand it with sandpaper, so that when we place elements, all wood joins to each other easily. And this is the socket in which will the color beam receive it in. I prepared another film where you will see the color beams preparing. And here we have already started to prepare the bottom of the hip rafters, which is the one that will extend beyond the wall plate on the outside of the building. It is also a decorative element. First it will cut at an angle of 63 degrees. We draw the center line and according to this line we draw 90 degrees triangle shape.
trim rafter, thereby creating an angle of 90 degrees. Then use an electric planner to smooth this part of the rafter, which extends beyond the corner of the building. After this is done, still you should smooth the surface with sandpaper using angle granda at the best, then paint it right away.
And here we can already observe the process of trying of whether or not the joints tied to each other. This is precisely the hanger. We have here the four holes for each rafters. Hip rafters are very heavy, probably weights around 250, maybe even 300 kilos. On top of the truss everything fits, the angles are correct. Now you can see intersection of collar beams. The process of preparing it will be discussed in the next section of this course. As you can see, all the pieces fit good enough, so we can move to the next step.